All right, let's deploy our voice agent and let's accept our call on my phone. Hi, this is Sophia from Global Talent. Is this Mahi I am speaking to? Yeah, this is Mahi. I hope you're doing great today. Great. I have some exciting news for you. Based on our previous discussion and your impressive background in software engineering, you've been selected to move forward in the recruitment process. Oh, wow. Now, wasn't that amazing? This is a great way to use AI agents so that you can fully automate every type of calls without any sort of code. Think of it as a personal AI voice agent. This is where I would like to introduce Synthflow. Synthflow is your ultimate solution for crafting conversational AI agents where you're putting your calls on autopilot. It's able to handle outbound calls, answer inbound inquiries, and even schedule appointments 24-7. Not only does Synthflow manage calls, but it's also able to follow up SMS messages, post call to effectively engage and convert these leads. Actions are made simple with the option to choose from a variety of voices or even let you clone your own voice so that it's going to ensure that there's a natural and personalized experience for every interaction. Just take a look at this demo video. So here's a quick demo of how I created a real-time voice assistant. Uh, the first step is uh, setting up these parameters, like the model, the patient's level. The way I um, cloned uh, the voice of Levelsio is basically I took a couple of uh, good uh, TikTok videos uploaded here. So the more time you spend, the more uh, the better you find on the voice parameters and uh, better quality material you upload, the better the voice is going to be. Okay, so now we can test the result and I'm going to make a phone call to myself. Hey, hey hello. There. hello. Hello, how can, I assist, how can I assist you today? How are you? I'm great, thanks. As a virtual persona, I'm here to share insights about uh, Peter what's Levels. What's your name? As a success. I'm Peter. I'm a virtual persona representing Peter Levels, a successful software company. Yes, this is definitely a groundbreaking AI voice agent that is going to revolutionize the way we automate our calls. This is something that you can create quite effortlessly, and it's going to be something that I'm going to be showcasing throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Synthflow, which is an AI voice agent that's going to be revolutionizing outbound and inbound call automation. Throughout today's video, we're going to be showcasing how we're going to be deploying our own conversational AI agent. So with that thought, let's get straight to it. So what you want to do first is get started by clicking on this button over here. Once you have done that, you're going to be then signing up with an account. So I'm going to quickly create an account and I'll be right back. So once you have created your account and your workflow, you'll be then sent over to this page where you can start creating your first voice assistant. So in this particular example, we're going to be creating a sales representative. So I had inputted the name. I selected the customized voice. Now there is also ability to clone your own voice, which is something that we'll mention as we go further into the video using 11 labs. You're also able to configure the custom greetings. This is where we're going to just keep it simple and just have it. Hey, who am I talking to? We're also allowed to select different prompts as well as templates where you can pick from their predefined prompts. So these are templates for agents. You can either pick from a real estate agent template or even a recruitment agent. And the goal is, is that you can be using these agents so that it can be deployed for any use case. You're able to select from the different templates that they have already made where they're readily configured agents and end-to-end -end automations. And they're basically used for specific use cases such as real estate, recruitment, healthcare, automobile, insurance, and such forth. There's so many templates that you can use from and it's easy to just get started and deploy that voice assistant quite easily. So in this case, once we have created our voice assistant, you can then start playing around with it right away. In this case, we're gonna be trying it out later because we're going to be exploring the UI and showcase how you can get started with this. So you can just click on I'll try later and you can go to continue editing. This is your dashboard of Synthflow. On the left side, you can see that this is your workspace. This is the one that we're currently working on. And you can see that you're able to manage different assistants, integrations, you have workflows, you have settings as well as agencies. Now, as I stated before, you can select between different templates. You can simply just click on more templates and you can see that there's various different options that you can get started with right away. In this case, you can just simply click on the details for this particular example. You can then create this assistant or even try it out before you deploy it. Now, the great thing is that these are readily configured agents 
with the ability to fully deploy them right away. So you don't need to go through the hassle to fine tune it, prompt it or anything like that. But in the case that you want to use your own personal AI agent and you want to configure it for your own particular use case, you can definitely get started with the approach that I'm going to be showcasing. So what we're going to be doing first is opening up our assistant. So you can just simply click on the one that we just opened up. You can set up actions. So you're going to be able to set up send SMS as an action. You have real time booking where you can schedule live appointments during the call. You can have call transfer, which is currently in beta, as well as info extractor. So what I'm going to be doing is setting up real time booking as I'm going to be creating this this tool for booking different calls from my consulting page. And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to deploy a voice agent using Synthflow so that it's going to basically make my life a little bit easier for booking calls with clients as well as booking time slots that are readily available with something like cal.com. So I'm going to set the API key for this as well as the cal event ID and I'll be right back. Now, just to mention that I truly recommend that you take a look at the SendFlow docs because this is a great tool or resource that you can use to set up your different voice agents. It's gonna go and walk through each and every step which will help you set up your AI voice agents with SendFlow. So definitely recommend taking a look at the link in the description below. That'll take you to the docs. Now, the next step is writing your prompt. Now, I know this might sound a little hard, but it's actually really simple. You can use a lot of the templates that they have already provided. Now, in this case, these are a lot of great examples that you can actually get started with. In this case, I am using a sales representative, so I can basically use this prompt that they have developed and just fine tune it a little bit so it applies to me a little bit better. So what I can do is copy this command, go into ChatGPT, make it so that it replaces obviously my name and have it so that I'm a sales representative at World of AI where I'm going to be then providing it a prompt so that it's specifically desired for my specific use case. So once you have set your guidelines for your prompt, you can then click next, which will take you to the pricing structure. This is where you can choose from these different options. I actually start off at the free trial. Once you have selected your free trial, you can then proceed forward. This is where you're going to be selecting deployment, where you configure the deployment of your inbound assistant. This is where you're going to actually need to connect with Twilio. So to do this, you're going to need to set your account SID as well as your authorization token. What you'll need to do next is create a Twilio account. It's super easy to do so and it's completely free. So once you have created it, you can then see that you're going to be able to find the account SID as well as the authorization token so what you can do is copy this go back into synthflow and paste in the sid as well as the authorization token so once i've done that i'm going to click save and i'll be right back next we need to attach a phone number so we can actually select a trial phone number from twilio this is where if you scroll down you're going to be able to get your twilio phone number by simply copying this going back over here and attaching it and this is where you can select your phone number and it should show up right over here after we have connected our sid and then we can just simply click finish and you're basically now set in terms of connecting to Twilio. So now that we have our functional form of communication because of Twilio, we can then move forward with Zapier. Now for the people who do not know, Zapier is a no-code tool that will automate any workflow with the integration of different apps such as Cal.com as well as Synthflow. So what we're going to do now is connect these applications and get started. And this is by going over to your SendFlow dashboard. Once you are over here, go to integrations. Once you are here, just create a new API key, copy it, create an account with Zapier. So once you have done that, then head over to apps and then search up SynthFlow. And then you can just simply click on connect. Once this new window pops up, it'll take a couple seconds to fully load up. And then you're going to be able to paste the API key. And then you can just simply click yes, continue with SynFlow. Once that is done, it'll take a couple of seconds. And once it's finished, it'll be fully integrated between these two applications of SynFlow and Zapier. Now that we have connected the Zapier integration with SynFlow, we can start tweaking and playing around with our assistant before we start creating this automation flow. So in this case, now that we have created this or assistant you can then simply click on it you can configure it a little bit better you can add an image for your assistant 
you can change the name you can obviously reselect a voice now as i mentioned before you're going to be able to even integrate 11 labs and this is by replicating your own voice so that you can have your own voice being automated with this synthflow system you can basically do this within 11 labs clone your voice send over the api key and then paste it over here they actually have a tutorial on this so if you're interested take a look at the docs which will showcase this but what you can do next is just simply configure change the ai model you can opt for speed or depth that suits your assistant's role by selecting different models you can choose from gpt 3.5 gpt4 gpt4 turbo as well as a fine-tuned lm for outbound sales now if you go over to the patient's level you can adjust the response speed you can have it for medium or high i believe medium would be the best in this case you can also change up the custom greetings as well as the language you have a lot of other options such as australia as well as canada where you can choose the assistant language you can also even enable recordings which is really really cool and say if you want to tweak your prompt or you want to tweak your actions you can definitely do so by removing the action tweaking your prompt guideline and you can then simply also go over to deployment where you can then get started with zapier and get started with this so what I'm going to be doing with my sales rep is that I'm going to be booking as well as scheduling calls using call.com and having it fully automated with Synthflow and Zapier. So what I can do is simply click on the Zapier tab, scroll down, search up call.com, and then I can click this automation workflow. So once I have done this, I can create or edit your Zap. You can do this with in Synthflow, which is really cool, or you can obviously do it within the Zapier app. So let's just get started in creating our automation with Zapier and Synthflow. So what I'm going to be automating is having it so that whenever a client or a customer wants to book a consulting with me through cal.com, I'm going to have Synthflow then send over a confirmation which is going to be sent through a phone call and it's going to basically state to the lead that this is your timing of your call. And I'm also going to state that if you would like to reschedule, you can also tell me right there on the call as well. And this will be automated 24 seven. So I won't even need to intervene. It will basically tell me in my calendar that this is when you have this booking and this is with which client. So it's super simple to get started. You first need to start off with the trigger. And this is where we're going to set the trigger with call.com. And you can simply see that there's over 5,000 different tools and apps that you can get started whether that's google drive google sheets as well as many others so what we're going to do is start off by searching up call.com once you have done that we're going to click and connect the call.com api so we can see that we're going to need to then start off by creating an event this is where whenever a booking is created this is going to trigger the next action so we can then continue now we're going to need to sign in with cal.com. So once I have integrated with Zapier, I'll be right back. So now that we have created a trigger from call.com, we can then set up an action which will execute the action such as making a phone call through Synthflow. So what we can do now is click on this and then you're going to be able to choose different actions such as Synthflow.ai. Now there's 5,000 different plus applications that you can integrate within this automation so if you're interested you can definitely view through all of this but in this case we're going to be working on creating an automation with synthflow.ai so what we can do now is then select an event type where you can select and create a text generation response or a voice response which will make a phone call back to the person who booked the call with me so what i'm simply trying to do is that say if someone is to book a call with me it's going to then send over an action to Synthflow, which will basically then call the person who recently just booked the call with me and state that this is when your meeting is gonna be. If you would like to change your call by rescheduling it, you can definitely do so by stating a time that is available. And that's basically how I'm gonna be automating this flow. And I can then simply just create this event type, which is make a phone call, click continue, which will then allow me to integrate Synthflow within Zapier, which we already did. You can then simply click continue again. Now you will need to basically input your model ID. So this is by going over to the Synthflow dashboard, copy this model ID from your assistant, and then you can then paste it in over here. Once you have done that, 
You can then have it so that whenever someone books a phone call, it will then retrieve the phone number of whoever retrieved that phone call from or whoever inputted that phone call from call.com so that it can then make a phone call to that person. You can also have it so that the name of the individual or the company your agent will be calling. So you can have it so that the attendee's name will be spoken. So you can just get rid of John. And you can basically do the same thing with other custom variables such as including the email you can also have the attendees time zone the title of the meeting as well as the description so i would like to keep the start time i'll also want to specify the description of the meeting and this is just going to be something that's going to be reiterated whenever the synthflow ai is going to call the person who booked the meeting with me and once you have set those variables up you can then simply click continue so once you have then created your flow, you can see that this is just a basic flow that I've created and fully automated so that whenever someone books a meeting, they're going to be able to have it sent over this trigger to SynthFlow, which will then call me to confirm my meeting. You can have it so that it could be 30 minutes prior. So what you can even do is you can edit this draft. You can have it so that you can add another step, which is basically adding a delay which is making it so that whenever there's, there's going to be a delay after you queue it up, so you can have it so that it's going to be 30 minutes. It's going to call you 30 minutes before your meeting as a reminder, which is something cool that you can do. Or you can just simply have it so that it can be sent after five minutes someone has booked a meeting. So let's actually test this out. I'm going to select the random time and I'm going to book a meeting. So I have just booked the meeting. Let's see how fast I'm able to get a call. I haven't put a delay, so let's see if I'm going to be able to get this call right away. And just like that, you can hear the call coming through. Let's accept it. Hi, John. This is Mahi from World of AI. I noticed you booked a call with us for March 27th at 11, 30 a.m. It's great to connect with you. I also see that you're seeking guidance on software development. That's an exciting topic, and I'm looking forward to our discussion if for any reason you need to reschedule, just let me know and we can make the change for you. We have two available slots on March 27th, one at 3, 0 p.m. EST and the other at 5, 0, 0 p.m. EST. I, I would like to reschedule. On March I would like to reschedule for 5 p.m. Certainly, John, I can help you reschedule your appointment to 5 p.m. on March 27th. Thank Before you. I proceed, now, wasn't that amazing? This was something that I just developed under 10 minutes, guys. It didn't take me that long to set this up. And it's something that is increasing my efficiency, my productivity, and so much more. This is an effective solution that provides you a human-like uh, output in terms of the voice that is being used for the AI voice agents. It's something that gives you endless possibilities. So I definitely recommend that you take a look at this. But that's basically it for today's video. That's how you're going to be able to automate various things with SynthFlow as well as with integration of Zapier. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you got a lot of value out of it. I'll leave all the links as to what I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you check it out with the link in the description below. I am always posting new content on Twitter in terms of news. So definitely take a look at this. I also have a Patreon where I offer different subscriptions completely for free. So if you're interested in that, definitely take a look at that. And lastly, guys, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, check out our previous videos as well as following through with the latest uploads by turning on the notification bell. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.